Okay, it's dry ice day today in science class. We're working with frozen CO2. This is the solid state of carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide is very common in our atmosphere. In fact, we breathe it out as we exhale. And if you were to take your breath, the CO2, and lower it down to negative 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit, you would have the solid state, which is called dry ice. And the cool thing about dry ice, and the unique thing is, that it sublimates, it goes directly from a solid to a gas, which hardly anything does. Most things, uh, they melt. They go from a solid to a liquid to a gas. Dry ice is so unusual because it goes from a solid directly to a gas. That makes it really unique and really interesting. So we're gonna do a couple demos here, a whole series. And first of all, you can see the sublimation. You can see the CO2 gas coming off of the solid chunk and then, and then sinking because dry ice is more dense than, than the air. We can really make this more dramatic by putting it in warm water. If we drop it into warm water, then you can really see the sublimation happening quicker. And you can see when I go to pour it that it flows. It's a fluid. Gas is a fluid. So you can really see that. Taking here, I can pour it onto my hand, I can pour it onto these roses. You can really see how the CO2 gas acts like a fluid. Very cool. Okay, if we want to take it to the next level, we can add some soap. Add a few drops of Dawn soap. And now we're going to the next level. All these bubbles come out. And if you go to hold them, they start to shrink and then you pop them. Very satisfying. Very satisfying. Okay, so this will keep going until the dry ice is all sublimated. So very cool. Next level. Next level. Okay, very neat. Now, if we want to take it to the next level, which we're always looking to take it to the next level in science class. Okay, we can go over here and do what we call boo bubbles. Okay, boo bubbles. I'm gonna take a piece of dry ice, which we handle with tongs, because if you handle this for longer than five or 10 seconds, you could burn your fingers. So we're gonna be careful and handle with tongs. Put a piece in there. Okay, put another piece in. Put the lid on. It's an old uh, pickle jar. See the gas shooting out, put it in this detergent. Now we have these really cool boo bubbles. I'll get it, I will get it. Looks like the size of a baseball if I can get it right. Very cool, there it is, neat. There it is. So you get these really cool bigger bubbles. I'll put them on the table if you wanna pan in on that. These, base, these bubbles the size of baseballs. I have a lot of fun with this. I usually have my students come up one by one and I put a bubble on their wrist and they can examine it. So we call those boo bubbles. Very cool. All right, next one we're gonna make a lot